Hey guys, I'm back with another dollar store makeover. I've been doing a lot of holiday themed dollar store makeovers. I got some stuff at the dollar store. I'm back with another dollar store makeover today. Dollar store? Dollar store. I stopped by the dollar store again. Dollar store? Dollar store. Dollar store, dollar store, dollar store again. This isn't gonna be one of those. Instead, this is going to be more along the lines of... Date night on the sea which might sound like it has something to do with Valentine's Day, but it doesn't at all. We're taking a break from the holidays. That's quite enough of that. I found some treasures at the dollar store. More specifically, this treasure chest. It's tiny, it's cute, and it's made of some sort of wood. Easy to paint on. For $1, 25. It's not bad. I especially like this little gold hardware situation. That's fancy. The lock even has a nice click to it. And the sticker peeled off very easily for once. So things are going well. Never been better. It has a bit of texture already, so no sanding needed. I just went straight in with the paint. Things are moving quickly. Prepare yourselves. I tried not to get any paint on the hardware itself, but... Uh, obviously I successfully failed that task. I'll just fix it with acetone. Not a big deal. Things are starting to get fancy now. I added some gold accents. What a fancy mess I've made. I then went back over the purple to add some texture, just to make the chest look a little more aged and magical. Vintage, if you will. It looks like it's just more purple, but it's not your average purple. It's a sparkly purple. Though, evidently, it's not sparkly enough. It didn't really do much at all. That neither razzled nor dazzled. It looks meh. Fancy, but still meh. Honestly, underwhelming. But that's fine. Patience. Beauty is on the inside. Ooh, what a beauty. It's a potato. Take a moment to admire the potato. I'm using epoxy to sculpt a monster who's going to be, like, peeking out. You can't really see much of him other than his face because... Well, most of them is inside the treasure chest. That's not creepy at all. Obviously, this treasure box is missing something. Treasure. So I added some scraps of aluminum. The aluminum is actually just meant to fill up the space. I laid down a layer of epoxy on top just to hide all that foil. No one needs to see that. I just smoothed everything over with water. Now, this doesn't look anything like treasure, so I added some texture. I wanted it to look like he's submerged in a hoard of cash money, so I made it rain some coins. To diversify his fortunes, I'm going to be adding some precious jewels. I'm making the jewels out of resin. I actually got this little resin and mold in Nerdy Crafter's craft kit some time back. I just added the resin, added the paint, mixed it, and shined the light for 30 seconds, and voila. Precious jewels. I started painting the coins, which are looking more like Cheerios now that I'm looking at it. The monster is supposed to be like a goblin. Goblins are known to be greedy. They love shiny, glittery things. Everything that glitters is gold. The only thing is, I painted him orange. Orange. Goblins aren't normally orange. orange. Orange was honestly a random color choice. I chose orange, orange because I wanted some contrast. Orange. orange is obviously in stark contrast to purple. Orange. It just so happens that the personalities of the chest and the goblin are also contrasting each other, to the point where they might be clashing. I really just didn't want to make a green goblin, so here we are. I added in the gems and now it's done. I love it. He looks very cartoony. I always try to go for a silly, creepy cute kind of vibe. I'm never intentionally trying to give you nightmares. Though I must admit, Bobo was a little horror-inducing. My apologies. You might recall the theme of this video is Date Night on the Sea. My orange goblin isn't actually the one on the date. He's just a side character, a stowaway on a ship. I picked this boat up at the dollar store. I saw a ton of these little DIY crafty things in the craft section. Includes everything you need. That's not a good sign. Uh-uh. They're being very technical with the ship terms. We've got string, stern, masts, booms. It looks pretty simple to be honest. I'm just gonna glue everything together and see what happens. So here's the whole shipwreck. Strings, sticks, and everything else. It's all here. I guess they included instructions for a reason. I put the cabin on sideways. Lucky for me, I've been working out, so I just ripped it right off of there. Not too bad. It's missing its sails, but I'll get back to those. First, I'm gonna paint the whole thing. I want this to be sort of like a ghost ship. I went in with some light blue hues. I wanted it to look like it's glowing. It doesn't really look like it's glowing, but that was kind of the vibe I was going for. It's a pretty tiny ship, so I couldn't really add much detail to it either. I did add these lines. Ooh, so that's something. It was meant to give off like a wooden kind of feel. Fake blue glowing haunted wood. Yup. 
The cabin obviously doesn't have enough windows. It didn't have any windows, so I added some of my own with Posca. I tried adding the sails. They don't fit. If you look at the picture on the bag, they're supposed to come all the way down to the booms here. But obviously, as you can see, they don't do that. Honestly, this was the only disappointing thing about this little craft thing. It's not a huge deal. I could just leave it as is. I think it still looks pretty cool. But I have a bunch of felt, so I'm just making my own sails. I wanted my sails to look kind of ripped and tattered. They've been through many a storm on the high seas, but that's not really the point. This yacht, if you will, is a mere vessel for a romantic date night on the sea. Trevor's going out on a date. I bet you guys didn't see that one coming. Who's the unlucky girl? This freak of nature. She turned out scarier than I wanted her to. She's got very hollow, soulless eyes. I wanted her to look like a normal, cute little pink ghost, but this is what I ended up with. I guess Trevor's got a type. Ugly is the type. Yikes. At least she can stand though. Trevor's lacking a little stability, but that's all right. Nothing a little hot glue can't fix. I'm kinda curious if this boat would float in water. romantic date night on the sea. A little sailboat, some old pirate booty. You can probably tell this video is loosely ocean themed. And what else can you find in the sea? Plenty of trash. See the connection? It's a weak link, but it was also a tough week. It's a trash can on wheels. So you can drive around in your trash, if that's your thing. I don't judge. It's a smooth surface. It's plastic. I want to paint on it, but I wasn't quite sure if the paint was going to stick. We'll see. First things first, this trash sign's gotta go. It came off pretty easy with acetone, but if you see it in a certain light, the ghost of the trash sign is still there. So that's a little weird. I can't seem to completely get rid of it, but... Whatever. I'm going to paint over it anyway. Today I have this vision in my head for a character that's just begging to be released. It's a trash can, so I wanted the character to be like trash. Not look like trash, but enjoy collecting trash. So I'm drawing a hamster who's a hoarder. He likes making arts and crafts out of trash. I started painting him yellow. This whole time I didn't really know what color I wanted to make him. After a bit of yellow, I realized he's looking a little too much like a sponge. I'll have to fix that. He's got a little Starbucks cup on his head. The drink has spilled all over him. It's pink lemonade. I wanted it to look like he's bursting out of a pile of trash. I don't know if I achieved that. I don't really know how to draw a pile of trash, so it just kind of looks like a lumpy white blob. Similar to his drink of choice, his fur is also pink. A light salmony pink. Not a typical hamster color, but that's because he's not your typical hamster. The little thing coming out of his mouth is supposed to be a straw. I wish I would have made it bigger. It's kinda hard to tell what it is now that I'm looking at it. Regrets. I thought I had made it a Starbucks cup, but I guess at some point I decided to give it a smiley face. It's a Walmart cup now. I tried going over the straw to define it a bit. I think it looks a bit more like a straw now. Improvement. The pile of trash, however, has not been improved on at all. And spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. It won't be improved, because here it is. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> I named this hamster guy Scumper. Kind of like scum of the earth. Trash, you know? Scumper. I think it's fitting. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm gonna use this thing for. I'm pretty sure it's meant to be a pencil holder, but I don't need any more pencil holders. I could store chocolate in it, but to be honest, I don't really like chocolate that much. I just have these Reese's that my mom keeps buying me, and I never run out of them because I never eat them. So here you go, Scumper. All for you. I just got back from the best date night in the world. <laughs> Click on the top right or bottom left if you want to join me on my next romantic venture.